Are we live? Are we live? I didn't hear my one. I didn't hear my countdown all the way. I think Scott went silent towards the end. Maybe we're not on. I think he's. I think he's losing his voice. It's. It's the new Republican era. Not listening to other people. I, I know. Not even the first minute we started already. It's we sad. started what? What did we well, start? Here's Where the, am he, I? Here's the deal. This is Karin Zarzur today. Thank you for that Karin R. Zarzur. Yes. Yes. Uh, we went through our R's before we started rolling the and R's. It's with the throat though, not the, not tongue. the tongue. It's R. <laughs> I have been known to have gag reflex, Zarzur. So, uh, <laughs> oh my God! I have You know she's from Zumanity. That's why we. Mm, yeah. The last time we had a Zumanity cast member, there were dildos and penises and confetti. Why and, don't I get that? I know. We're. I. I just. I told her before. I said we're totally failing on our art direction, set design. Well, we lately. could get live, live, live dicks. <laughs> exactly. I know. Andy already offered to wave something in the air, but I was okay. like, please, pl- come on, please slap it on here. <laughs> and we also have discovered. Corinne and I have discovered that it is also Friday the 13th because we didn't know. Like, what day is today? It's Friday. What's the date? The 13th. You're like, oh, God. Well, it's already doing that outside. And, you know, next Friday is actually Friday the 13th because it's Inauguration Day. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. We've I'm alienated. I'm Canadian. I don't follow we that. We alienated all one viewer on our program today. It was probably Danny Ackerman and Scott Whitney. Hi, Danny. I love you. Um. Yes. Ah, yes. Yes. So, what were we talking about at the top of the show? We were just saying something. We were talking about dicks. We were talking about and dicks Friday the 13th. and Friday the thirteenth. But right when we, oh, right when we, I know, I know. And gag reflex. And gag reflexes. So, I totally, I totally lost the train of thought. And Scott's coming over. He's scared. Oh no! Because when he we said, well, I'm not okay, listening to he's this. Not listening. And our producer has left the building because you know there was some plane that went by right before we started, and I was like, what's happening? Are we under siege? Oh, and it's then you raining. said no. The Trump administration the Trump is it, not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Okay, we're gonna stop that now. Okay. Because we're having rum and we're having a good day. It's Friday, so I'm listen. Having scotch, actually. You are. Yeah, I'm, ha- I'm having. What am I having? Is this the rum? You don't even know what you're drinking. This is the rum you brought. The Appleton Special Reserve from Jamaica. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, I'd be like this. Is that just rum? That's just Jamaica. <laughs> okay. That's Jamaica. Um, we haven't met before. No, no, we haven't. Why? And I, when I saw Andy forwarded me some pictures for you, and I saw you on the Brooklyn Bridge with a band, I was like, I know you. I, I think I was there at this because I remember this outfit specifically. That's Why? The one in time they dreams, let us out of the know. theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like I saw you in this show. I feel like I saw you when you're outside doing this. I, rem- I literally remember this. How, how long have you been in Zumanity? By the way, Corinne is in Zumanity. If you didn't already guess, <laughs> we've kind of talked about this. I do, I do a very bad lead in to my guests sometimes. It's not important. I know, right? It isn't. What's so important not. is you and me right now. I know. She, well, she okay. was wondering when she sat down, she's like, we're going to be this close to stare at each other all the time. I said, this is, this is the Susie stare down here in the show. I mean, I, I, I literally get the moment with you guys every time people are on here and I get lost in people's eyes. It happens all the time. Mostly in the men's eyes. You know, but whatever. But but today it's yours. I have a wonderful strap on. Do you? I... <laughs> Clearly, and I can use it very well. Sorry. Oh, I don't think I'll be able to show my daughter this clip. No, yeah. <laughs> this is this is a, an adult only episode today. You know what though? We swear on the show. We say fuckery. We say all kind. Yeah, that's the. That's, we have to take a drink when we say that word. No. What oh. is In fuckery? In honor of Riva Rice, and uh, well, it was okay. So you know. We over at House Eats have done these set list shows, mm-hmm. and then we, one of the first few, sh- well, the second year, we did Amy Winehouse, Back to Black, and you know Reva Rice in Vegas, Vegas the show? No. Uh, Reva has been in Starlet Express, she's been in a lot of shows, so she took the song, and I'm sure it'll, yep, mm-hmm. there we go, and, and it will play as, as uh, Scott only knows how to cue many things <laughs> over there, um, but one of the songs says fuckery, and Reva is the, uh. It's that. This isn't actually the song. It's me and Mr. Jones, but that's okay. Republicans don't know songs, but that's okay. I'm sorry. I have to stop. It's an epidemic now. <clears throat> well, it's so close. And I know. They don't even know news when they hear it either. It's all <laughs> fake news. <laughs> Fuck you. I, he used to like me, and now he doesn't. But l- let me... Okay, yeah. I'm Canadian. Sorry. You are. Oh, wonderful Justin, <laughs> how about ours? Eh? You're the most it's wonderful... Trudeau. You're the safest, nicest, kindest people ever, is the Canadians. Yes. They're building a wall to keep us out. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and there is the music of this. Me and my man. Oh, we can sing together. Mr. Mrs. Jones. Jones. And Mr. Jones. <clears throat> what kind of everyone fuckery is this? All right, everyone said fuckery together. Fuck, I fuckery. didn't say it. You didn't say it. Say it. Fuckery. fuckery. <laughs> that was nice. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. Mm. 
Happy he could be on cue. It's <laughs> nice when he's on cue. So you are in Zumanity. Yes. You are the resident sang. I am. I am. With, ha- there's another one. We're, there's two, another one. we're two singers. So there's, you're two singers. Yes. And you're on at the same time or you switch off? Uh, sometimes at the same time. Sometimes we switch off. Mm-hmm. That happens in Zoom, and there's a lot of that yes, going on. Yes, a lot. Mm-hmm. A lot of that. We hadn't seen it in a while, and I saw it right when we had Edie on. And, uh, oh my God. Was I hadn't seen ap- it. That was after two- the refresh, right? That was, I did I see it before the show? Before he came on or after? I think I, I think I saw, we saw it the night before he was on the show. But I hadn't seen the show mm-hmm. since 2003. Oh my goodness. When it opened, because I actually worked on the opening of it. And I hadn't seen it since then, so I was very bad. I saw it with uh, uh, Joey, Joey, Joey yep. Aris. Yeah, that's who I saw it with. So, have you been in it that long? Yes, actually, oh. I came in. I think the official opening was September twentieth, yep. yeah, two thousand three. Like August was the previews. Yeah. Except, yeah, yeah, yeah. I came in October third. Oh my god! Yes, I missed you. We're like, here I, now. I I was part. I was commissioned to do the all the celebrities to come to the red yeah, carpet. Yeah, yeah, I party. missed that big party. That was the craziest mm-hmm. ass. But you know party. what? We had you were there in crazy spirit. parties oh, yeah, uh-huh. after oh, that too. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. That's fine. You have. Okay. You have. Thank you. So, <laughs> what what prompted you? Were you in Vegas before, or you you came? Hell no. How? Okay. See. Everybody comes from somewhere, and where did you hail from? Montreal. Oh, yes. Yes. But she's one of those Canadians. Yes. Uh-huh. I would have never Je even thought le of... Je suis le coin. Coin. That's my gibberish French. I don't really know French. I pretend to. Sounds good. I slip words in there that might be real, but then I don't finish them. I just Well, you just said je suis, and that was it. Yeah. Je m'appelle le blanc, <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the blab, gestures and yes. Non, c'est blab, genre. You don't know any. You any? did not <laughs> say that to me. <laughs> Are you fluent? <laughs> very. Oh. <laughs> it's all in the tongue, and very right? Fluid. And, and all in the and gag very, reflex. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Zazur. Zazur. Actually, Zazur is Lebanese. Oh, it is. Let's but lesbian. <laughs> oh, you're a Danny Thomas. You're a Lebanese. <laughs> but I am Greek. Yeah. Oh. Yes. You are all over the place. I sure am. Wow. <laughs> yeah. My Mother's Greek, so Mother's that's what Greek takes over. And dad's Lebanese? He's half Lebanese. <laughs> <laughs> and the other half? I, it's half French and half Austrian. Wow. But my mother's Greek from Egypt. What? Um, wow. All kinds you of are. fucked up. Wow. Oh, my God. Holy mackerel. Yeah. That's, that, that's got to make for great food in the house. It does actually. I, I would, that I, yes, I, mm, that would be great. Smells. When are you coming over? I know. When when, when are you having me over? All right after the show. <laughs> Let's do it. When is Zumani's dark day? We're cooking over at your house. Wednesday, Thursday. You know that though. She did ask me. Corinne asked me. I did. You're right. Wednesday, Thursday. It's dark. We did talk top of show. She's never been to DW. This is a restaurant that I own here in town. Off two fifteen. I know. I have to listen. When I have time, I do give plugs out. Okay. I know. Yeah. The hard work we keep doing. Oh. That's okay. That's okay, Scott. You know, we have up-to-date fake news now. <clears throat> um, I know. he's. I'm pissing him off right and left today. The real thing to piss him off is if you bang on the table. <laughs> or how about if I do this? If you do that, absolutely. Right in his ear. Right in his ear. Um, da, 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 da. And we're cut from the air. It's over. Technical glitch, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry. We are experiencing some turbulence today. Uh, oh, oh. Wow, Dalton looks really dark in that one. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> that's my partner, Dalton, in the restaurant, and he's DW. He, we we started this restaurant seven years ago up on the west side of town, and then we relocated recently just down the street from our current spot, built a new spot. So it's awesome. You have to come by. It's Jama- okay, so when you're, when you're talking fusions of cuisine, this yes. is even stranger than that, okay. too. It is Jamaican and New Mexican. Oh yeah! So you got the jerk. So what would a <laughs> what would a dish? You look got like, like the jerks, and you have like the New Mexican green and red chilies. If you can, if you can imagine those fusion together, and it's not like all of them are combined. It's just it's in a very American menu with jer- Jamaican influences and New Mexican influences on the menu. So we have things like we have an awesome jerk uh, grilled so chicken sandwich for lunch. There's a lot of pot for lunch. in there. There's a lot of pot in all of our items. Okay. Absolutely, we have a really awesome carrot cake that you just keep eating and eating and eating and eating. <laughs> That's really nice. Well, I'm looking forward. Are you looking right now, right? Yeah. We have a killer brunch on Sundays. People literally come sometimes in their pajamas. When are you there? I'm there every Sunday at no without fail at the door. So then I'll come on Sunday. Sunday, So perfect. Whenever you'd like to go, I will be there to welcome you. I will go on Sunday. Okay, Sunday it is. Okay, perfect. Uh, Uh, Okay. (laughs) Hi. So 
usually at the top of show, if I'm not crazy, and if I remember what I did over the week or the weekend before, I kind of tell people what I didn't get a little take on it from you. How's that sound? She's lost in translation. Say okay. Don't no. Don't 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 agree to what the Republican says overhead. Think I? for yourself, child. Don't yeah. let them tell you what to say. I'm yeah 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> You and the whole I'm world being is brainwashed. watching. I'm sure we're being. I'm sure we're being simulcast right into Trump's office, and he'll tweet about us after. Meryl Streep, come on, get over it, get over it. All right, so we did some wonderful things over the weekend besides watching the Golden Globes and agreeing with everything the speech was about. We, we, um, my partner and I went to see uh, Fun Home at the Smith Center. Now, partner, it's not your DW partner. This is, this is your partner, life partner. My, okay. my soon to be married March. Uh, giving away dates. And you're all invited. Give it March, no? March what? March 17th. St. All Patrick's right. Day. Oh. <laughs> Yay, congratulations. St. Patty's Day. We're going to wear green on that day. Of course yeah. you are. We're not Irish. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because you can be from Egypt and Montreal and France and everywhere you want to be from exactly. today. Hey, do you know anything about this musical at all? Fun Home? No. I didn't either. Okay. Um, the, <laughs> Thank you. Okay. The um, uh, One of my clients at the restaurant was was rushing out of brunch on Sunday for a matinee of this show. And I said, what is it about? And if you looked up on the Smith Center, it was literally, this is the greatest explanation, a a lesbian coming to terms with her sexuality and realizing that her father was gay. I was like, this should be very interesting. Okay. And I didn't know anything about it. It did win the Tony for Best Musical in it 2015. Did? Yes. Yes. How so come I, I was heard I about thought it? I said, that's what I said. So we went Sunday night to the closing show. I have never heard the Smith Center silent in my life. They literally were so quiet, and then at the end, just you could hear sniffles, and everyone just stood up in an ovation without even before the before the before the um, the actors even had a chance to bow. How many actors? Uh, they're only I would say there's only a half dozen or so, and then there's a few people that come in as as ambient, but literally the main cast members also you know it's one of those things where certain cast members play certain you know several and different it's a characters. Musical. It's a musical, and they have a narrator. So this this lesbian character who is 45 at the time writes this story and narrates it reason it's called Fun Home is her dad runs a uh, funeral home. So they call it the Fun Home. It's, it, it, okay. But you know what? Making it a musical made it very light because the story was was very, very heavy in the sense of her coming to terms with being a lesbian, going off to college, and and living in a, a household. I'm not sure what city she grew up in. I think it was maybe somewhere in Pennsylvania. Now, but her, did her dad come out ever no. or never? He actually, and he actually kills himself. Oh, God. Who jumps out in front of, I mean, no, I'm like, we and just a good really, morning to you. Good morning. <laughs> okay. I, oh. <laughs> Republicans are so insensitive. Really? Them and their guns, you know? I'm sorry. Um, but I'm not sorry. Uh, it's The show is absolutely incredible. Like I, I, I tell people, wherever it goes on tour now, please go see it. Because this show was literally almost life-changing. I sat there. My, my partner, my Jason, and I sat there in the, in the show, and we were just like, you know, it's 100 minutes straight through. There was no intermission, which was great because they had you yeah. right at the moment. You know, it's like humanity. When you start... And when you're done, I mean, I, the, the, the closest everybody has after the show is over is what you strive for in performance. What you yeah. strive for in theater is to get people connected to one another. Zumanity is the same way. When you go to the show, like literally after it, people are uninhibited. They're sitting in a bathtub taking photos and they're feeling comfortable talking to the next per- person next to them about sex and fun and all that kind of stuff. You literally have been taken in. Because one thing I love that you I know sometimes people take it to another level too. Yeah. They think they're so in that I mean we see some stuff going on in the audience that Whoa! yeah because they feel comfortable and you've very let, you've let them very you've let them have their guard down mm-hmm. you've let them have those moments where hey we're all human together hey we all have the same desires issues wants mm. and 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 you and you put them out there for people to sort of gravitate to and I went to we went to a talk back where they had a little talk back after the show. Um, none of the actors could be present because they were off to rush to Denver the next day. But they did have some people from the Smith Center, like one of the marketing guys was there and kind of had a discussion with probably about 35 or 40 people in the Smith Center about the show and how it was really difficult to even bring to Vegas and and how it's difficult on tour in certain certain states. You know, I mean, people it's 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 heavy subject matter, but it does open you up to being vulnerable and to understanding we're all human together and kind of that whole pattern of her dad had this. Uh, life that he had to keep hidden, and the wife had to deal with that as well because I mean, she, she must knew. have been miserable too. Oh yeah, you could you I could mean, see you could see on the stage, but they made it very lighthearted. I hope there she was, had lovers. She, I hope so too. Yeah, she probably did. The milkman. Okay. None of the kids looked the same, so I'm okay. sure it was probably that way. 
But she goes off to college and discovers herself and has this really blissful sort of coming out. And then her coming out just spawns her dad to reach out a little bit. But then he closes up and, and lives in existence in the hiding, in the shadows. And and it's really quite sad. But it does shine the light on people and to say, hey, we're all human. We're all connected and it's the same thing with your show, mm-hmm. in just a different light. Well, yeah. Well, with love is love. Strap ons and bathtubs I mean, and threesomes, but but it, it doesn't matter who you it, love. You know, it really it's, does it's not. That person, it doesn't matter what the package. Yeah. Looks well, it like. does want the package. Well, yes, right? of course. But, in yeah, some ways, in some, yeah, of course. Yeah. But <laughs> she is wearing fur today. It is very nice. It is very. And then we're tra- transitioning. We went to that movie last night. Have you seen Hidden Figures yet? No, I live in a cave. You do. Yeah. Does she live in a cave? Okay. She only when she gets out in her fur to go out and in life. They they learned how to make a fire the other day. They're definitely living like cavemen. It's okay. Oh. Why does it say one thirty? Did you put that date on there? No. Oh. Well then I saw it last night at the Eclipse Movie Theater prior to it actually really coming out. This show this movie was amazing. Absolutely incredible. I had no idea. The things you find out after the fact, all three of these women had pivotal parts in NASA's uh, launching like John Glenn into space. Uh, I won't give it away, but they literally, uh, well, I'll give it away. I mean, like the, you know, Taraji Hansen, I think that's her name. She was one of the smartest mathematicians at NASA to come in, to give you an idea of how you feel when you, when you're a lone wolf in something, she literally walks into um, this, you know, like high, high clearance, high security position Kevin Costner is sort of the boss, and she walks into a room of all white men and what one secretary. 1961. Oh my God! Yeah. So all of them are living in at Langley, Virginia. So even though they even talk about, even though Brown Bors's Bird of Education has already been approved, and you know schools are supposed to be desegregated, Virginia still stays segregated. You know they're like the world, can, this country can do what it wants, but we're going to stay doing this, mm-hmm. really. And so they kind of push the envelope in a lot of areas to the point where this, this woman who came into a room full of only white men, you know, by 2016, Obama gives her a medal. She has a building named after her at NASA. I mean, you're just like, I, I, I'm so proud that they put movies and they, they tell stories like this for people to understand because you have no idea. That's not in the news. You don't course, know the silence. Course. You know, you know Rosa Parks. You know certain big stories. But when somebody has helped put a man in orbit around the Earth and helped us basically um, go right there with, with Russia in our abilities. And, and, you know, back then it was about fear, of course. Mm-hmm. You know, Russia's in space. What are they going to do? Are they going to shoot a bomb down on us? Whatever. We have to shoot a, someone up in space too and, and catch up with that. That It was just amazing to know that there were women behind, these women, 30 of them, 30 African-American women were behind the math behind launching men into space. It's crazy. It was, it's honestly, I swear, I hope it did wins Did you know Oscars. this before this? No, I did. I, I, I mean, I watched a little bit of the Golden Globes. I knew that it was about women who were sort of um, oppressed, obviously, and uh, were, were given tasks to help with math, but I did not know to the degree of what influence they had. And obviously, if they make a movie about it, you know by the end when you see the credits roll and they, you know, talk about where everybody is now and, and they show the real pictures of the women as they are. It's Incredible. astounding that we have these awesome stories that live in the U.S. and we need to focus. One of the things why we do this show, honestly, Miss Corinne, is because... Oui, Monsieur Bryce. Oui, je suis le blanc. <laughs> le quelle heure, quelle heure, je suis le blanc. Uh, uh, how do you say... Um, non, c'est vrai? Non, c'est vrai? Vous êtes blanc? Non, oh, me dites non, pas. Me dites pas pas? Vous êtes charmant. Vous êtes blanc, genre. D'accord. There's, there's subtitles going as we're talking, just so you know. <laughs> um, I, I feel like we... <laughs> I know. Did you, did you understand all that? I think I think they did. I think they understood all the French we just said. Because mm-hmm. they were speaking French to each other too. Je m'appelle? Lindsay, do you speak French? Un petit mot? Uh-huh. They can't hear Lindsay, but Lindsay, oh, oh, and we can't. You know, and obviously there's you influencing <laughs> others too with your talent. Exactly. Tell me about your talent and where it started. In Egypt? In Montreal? Where did you, where did you first learn to sing? Sang, sang girl uh, in Montreal because mm-hmm. that's where I was born and raised. Uh-huh. Yes. yes. Oh yes. Okay. So my first band, I believe I was thirteen years old. Okay. And I played keyboards and sang. Oh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, the first songs I remember these songs was Jumping Jack Flash from the Rolling Stones. <laughs> yes. Uh, 
Heartbreaker, Pat yeah. Benatar, which then I sang for the next 20, 25 years. Yeah. There was another one, Magic Carpet Ride. Mm-hmm. I remember those three songs particularly. Wow. Yeah. So, she might yeah. have to do the Rolling Stones. Ah, we're doing a Stones set list concert this year. So our set list we were talking about prior with uh, Amy Winehouse. Uh-huh. We are doing, uh-huh. we didn't have Amy Winehouse, you know, she was actually passed. but She did? She did pass. Fuck. I know, it's fuckery. I know. Uh, yeah. Um, Oh, you came to Slippery When Wet at the House of Blues? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that was fantastic. Yes, it so was. So this is our third year. We're calling it 3.0. Okay. And we're doing Queen first on oh, February yeah. 24th on a Friday night at the House of Blues. And then we're doing Sympathy Rolling Stones. The and we're doing um, Friday the 13th. The Who. <laughs> I know. Oh, you dance the Stones wonderfully. <laughs> we're, 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 you promised to take off clothes in this show, didn't you? I'm taking off my freaking scarf. It's hot as hell. And, oh, there you go. Layers. Oh. Layers are coming off. I hope oh, Jeff yeah. Lavari's watching. Layers are coming oh, off on this show. <laughs> I did not say we would have nudity. I promise. We'll only save that for Zumanity. Um, I never promised. I know. <laughs> oh, and that's you doing Monday's Dark? Yes. 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 Oh, in leather. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's <laughs> that's when I took sure a Mark few so months proud. off work, okay. okay, and I was able to do a Monday because yeah. we do work on Mondays. Yeah. So that was the one. What did time. you? What was the show you guys did? If you can remember, I think they were the yeah. Dead Icons. Oh, yeah. oh, the, that's what it was. Was I at that show? Oh, damn! Yeah, he's vicious with the sound effects. Yeah, the Dead Icons. I was there at that one. I think that was for. Make a, I don't remember, but yeah, he did. He now you know he has his own space now. Yes, for Monday's Dark. Yes, we went. So it is tour, open. Yeah, it's open. He okay. did his first Monday's Dark last this last this week, uh, and then uh, we're actually we're gonna give another plug. Sorry, fiftieth. You're you're the forty eighth show for House Seats presents right now. You're number forty eight. You're okay. not forty eight years old, but you're number forty eight. Corinne's in her like late nineteens or twenties. Yes, right, late nineteen twenties. <laughs> Je le pas. Listen, la bonne à toi. listen. Amour de je I just went to the doctor and she told me I, I had to start doing a colonoscopy, so I'm not Ooh. 30. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah, and what? <laughs> Loud and proud. <laughs> uh huh. I, I was going to go somewhere that I did not. You go. should, because no, no, I told no, no, my no, doctor, I, 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 said, I, can't, I, can't, I can't. I said, hell, they might as well take advantage if I'm going to be out. <laughs> What happened Free while entry. I was down? Wait. Uh-huh. <laughs> Just like the movie Hidden Figures, re-entry. It's all about the re-entry. It was all about the re- you get fired up in the re-entry. Take advantage. Woo. <laughs> you have to know that when we um, when we do the set list show, we call upon all the talent on the strip to put this together. You might be called on. I can I can, for I can feel it for the stones. For stones, absolutely. Oh. <sighs> He has to keep me on track over here because I'm all over the boards on the 13th. So we are doing, so you're number 48. This is our 40th yes. episode of this show. Okay. Next week's number 49. We'll do a great show that you'll need to watch on the 20th. Don't watch anything else on the 20th but us. And then on the 27th, we are live. We are doing a live, we're live every Wait, Friday. Isn't this live? We're, yeah. Yes, where we're doing the live 50th episode uh, with performances by some people on the strip at Mark Space. At the space, as it's called. It's over on Polaris. Yeah. We're going to invite people to come so that they can actually be in the audience as well and, and do a live show. That's so cool. Yeah, yeah. So we have some nice names joining on the list right now. And Do uh, tell. Yeah. Do tell. Well, we can we can reveal. We can reveal. There's a very busy and talented Ann Martinez. <laughs> she gets applause right when you say her name. That's just like Ann Martinez. Oh. Oh. He's slowing down. Ann Martinez. <laughs> uh, she's doing a new show, and I'm so they're gonna, wow. so they're gonna be doing some. Uh, I know. Right? <laughs> so they're gonna be doing a few snippets from their from their new show twerk. Travis. And Mr. Travis Clure, Clure, uh, Corinne Zarzu. Whoa. Thank you. <laughs> At first, I thought it was a fart. Okay, yeah, that's, what I thought. <laughs> yeah. that's okay. Uh, was that you? Ooh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, do you know that Golden? Why I got thought of Golden Girls just now? I think it was from. I make you think of the Golden. Girls? No, no. When you said fart, because I think of Sophia talking about you know you can't smell that from the hallway. Yeah, they're, they're putting all the episodes on Hulu. Thank you so much. That's like my Christmas. Save present Betty White. Now. Yeah, save Betty White. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know somebody tried to raise money to save her when all <laughs> no, these people I were dying in 2016? A guy actually started a GoFundMe <laughs> to say. I said, "What are you paying for her doctor visits? What exactly are you raising How do money you save for?" Her? I know. 
If she wants to go, she would want to go. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> who's it? Oh, Carbonite. Yeah. This is yeah. This is not Star Wars. This is not Mr. Um, Harrison Ford. We're not freezing anyone in car. Well, I was never mind. I I, I I'm gonna, I'm digressing so much with you. Oh, thanks. What's happening? People are gonna be like, this show is so all over the place. It's the Friday the third. There's a there. And there, that's there's, fine too. There's literally a broken mirror under our feet. And there is an invisible mirror, I mean, an invisible ladder, ladder that we're in front of right now. So mm-hmm. clearly we're breaking all the rules today. Um, what? Uh, question I want to ask you, this was coming up this morning and my thoughts was, what do you go see show-wise when you're not in your show? Like, what's one of your favorite shows in Vegas when you go out? She doesn't go out. She lives in the cave, remember? <laughs> I used to, actually. We, there was I a used shout to go out to the for green the green door, door out there. Yeah, before before I had my 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 daughter. Yeah, yeah. of course. Mm-hmm. Or private homes and stuff like that. But oh. no, I <laughs> <laughs> gag reflex came back. My throat just hurt just now, and that's why she's going. That's how I met my boyfriend. No. Oh, at the green door. He's <laughs> no, on his not phone. at the green door. Oh, he's on his phone. He's not paying any attention. It was attention a private, to what, uh, a private, private event. Yeah, private home thing. It was yeah. a private event. Yeah, this is why uh, she has regular visits to the proctologist now. Of course, it's necessary. We got to keep that in shape. But uh, <laughs> I don't think our show has ever been this dirty. <laughs> Literally, with the exception of Edie, I don't think we've ever done this. Mm-hmm. Oh my! My headphones are ringing. Uh, ah, they're hot yeah. and under my ear. Go ahead. No, Just seriously, I um, I like to be home. Yeah. When I'm not working. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I do have a six-year-old. So okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it limits. The amount yeah, of shows I, that you could go see. Well, yeah. And, you know, I like to put her to bed at yeah. night. And I only get two nights a week to do that. Yeah, so, yeah. And then after I put her to bed, it's not like, what the hell? Let's go out. I'm like, huh. You're like, and I'm done. Netflix. Let's do this. What's your Netflix binge? You know, the world wants you to binge these days. Oh, my God. Okay. So the last one was um, Sense 8. Oh, okay. I never, I haven't seen that one yet. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the like OA. sci fi. Yes. Yeah. The yeah. OA. Right now I'm watching Versailles. And uh, did yes. you watch. Should have been a West Eye. Did you watch Vikings? No. Okay, you know, I can't even not, talk to you about I these know, things. I okay. I'm not a period. I don't want to talk. I don't live I don't in wanna... caves. I'm not a period person. <laughs> I <laughs> Obviously not. You don't have the equipment for to be a no, period person. No, no. We hand out free things. In Scott's bathroom, there's free things if you need them. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you do watch? I, keep, I know. I, keep, I keep feeling like I see something in my eye. What do we watch? Well, I... Okay, I, oh, when Jason goes to bed, I have to watch The Crown now because he won't watch... Period. Stuff. Really? I watch period stuff. I watch Crown. That that's was, not that's, period stuff. This the, 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 the queen is still stuff. alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, she. <laughs> I mean, like time period. Oh, time period. Okay. Have you watched The Crown? Has anyone out there watched it? No. Oh, Lindsay watched The Crown. I it's know. very I, good. I tried. I tried. It's I watched very good. Half of the first episode. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, there's. I think. I think we're entering into a time where people are going to be watching television a lot again. Mm-hmm. That happens a lot when four years are vilified but <laughs> we'll, 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 <laughs> we'll probably watch a lot of television that's not reality tv mm-hmm. or you know sadness or cnn or any of that stuff because clearly i'm never gonna scott's in my ear saying i'm never gonna let this go the world will not let this go one uh, one minute oh one minute God. to what one more question oh not from you not from you no you're fake no no not from you one not, minute one I'm minute kidding one minute left in our show Really? I know. We haven't even talked about yeah. anything. What do you want to talk about? Montreal? Uh, no, I'm caught off guard. How now. about this little show do... in Zumanity that you're in? How, yes. How, how yeah. Okay, yes, it's great. I've been You've there 13 been years. 13 yeah. years. Okay. Oh, 13 and, uh, years? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and I'll be participating in the One Night for One Drop, too. So, One Drop. So, yeah, you which know, Peen uh, over there. Peen Coopman. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my she God. She produces. Oh, my God. My yeah. timer went off. That's okay. Um, so, One Drop is March, right? March 3rd. March 3rd at. Zumanity Theater. Zumanity. Yes. That is the first of all. I have to give you kudos just on the theater alone. It's fantastic. The theater is probably one of the most beautifully decorated, designed cabaret style, style theaters in the whole city. Yeah, it is. It's because beautiful. You have the if you haven't seen Zumanity, they have the moving <laughs> band. I know the moving band that goes up and down mm-hmm. on the scaffolding. There, you have people on the, and uh, the spiral band is staircases. So present yes, too, you know, and the dancing impeccable. Mm-hmm. And you're up there in the rafters. No, singing. I'm on stage. Obviously, I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. You have wigs on. We are done anyway. You have wigs Time on. Time is up. Roll the photos. Time is up. Roll the photos. There we go. Next one. That's the old one. Next That's, one. Yeah. Next one. Next one. 
Next one. Oh, that's it. Okay. Okay, bye. You have red streaks in your hair. I have. Do. I re- I do remember. Whatever. I, I'll, I'll come see I a refresher. All right, we're done here. We're done okay. here. Go get yourselves to the green door. Have a nice <laughs> Friday the 13th. Bye. Bye. Bye.